So my career path in brief is pretty much started playing rugby at Meadow Rugby Club in 2015. Had my first game in December 2015 and was playing for England by November 2017, less than two years later. I'm Shauna Brown and I currently play rugby for Harlequins in England as a tight head prop. Before rugby, I was very much into my athletics. It was shot put and discus and eventually hammer throw as well. And then my ultimate in the career was competing for England at the Commonwealth Games in 2014, throwing a hammer, made it to the final. That was what I'd done before rugby. But even within that, I would do sort of anything that came up in terms of opportunity to try different sports. I tried Highland Games, strong women competitions, boxing, anything that was offered to me, I would try and say yes to. And I think that's part of why I've been so successful so quickly in rugby. It's just because of my sporting background like, and having a great foundation to then go off and do any sport. From Commonwealth Games, I kind of was on a bit of a low with it all and sort of started falling out of love with the sport. And instead of just either carrying on and being unhappy or just stopping altogether, I thought, well, I'll look for a new challenge. And literally just looked up my local rugby club, emailed them, said, can I come and play? And they went, yeah, of course you can. We train once a week on a Tuesday. Very welcome to come down. And so I did with my mum, my super fan, 25 years old, and like my mum's introduced me like, this is Shauna, she's never played before, can she play? I'm like, mum, I'm 25, I can do it myself. <laughs> but yeah, she was, she was very much present for my first session. And again, even now, mum is, mum is my superwoman, super fan. I suppose looking back, she has always been the person that she is. When she was younger, she always had male, like boyfriend, not, not boyfriends, but male friends. All her friends were always boys, you know, and she played football. She hung upside down on the monkey bars and would say, don't make me wear a dress because I don't want to show my knickers off, you know, stuff like that. Growing up, would you agree that I was a tomboy? Definitely. And what about, uh, like, transgender? Did you ever think I wanted to be a boy? No. No. So that, I used to get that constantly, the question, or oh, not even the question, it was telling me, like, oh, you want to be a boy? Because you, how, you, how you used to do my hair? Do you remember how I used to do my hair with my flats? It was always like, are you a boy or a girl? And I'd be like, I'm a girl. But I had that when I was younger. I was a tomboy, not as much as you, because I grew out of mine, but people used to, I had my hair cut short, shaved and everything, and people used to think I was a boy. I remember sitting on the bus once, and a group of people thought I was a boy. <laughs> 